Welcome into the first Frame Relay Lab, and in this lab, we're going to configure Frame Relay in a multi-access environment. Essentially, all of our Frame Relay interfaces will be in the same Slash 24 subnet. Now, I have included this particular lab as Frame Relay Lab 1, as you see at the top of the screen, as part of the work files for this particular section of the course. And of course, the usual caveat supply, you have to supply your own iOS, but the configs are there in plain text. And essentially, all I've done is configured a loopback address on each of these routers, and I've configured the DELCs in this frame relay switch that comes with GNS3 to give me a full mesh frame relay network. And if you look out here, the topology makes a little bit of sense. DELC 101 in Dallas transports you to DELC 201 in Chicago. DELC-102 in Dallas transports you to DELC-202 in Birmingham. DELC-301 in Chicago transports you to DELC-302 in Birmingham. So you have full connections between all three routers, and we're going to configure Frame Relay on all of the interfaces, configure a routing protocol, and make sure that we can ping across the network, and we'll even do a trace route just to see what happens. So let's dive in. First, we'll go to the Dallas router and we'll configure this guy's serial interface. So we go into config mode, interface serial, 0 slash 0. We change the encapsulation type to be frame relay. And again, that is distinct from PPP or HDLC. It is a completely different type of encapsulation, as we've discussed previously in the course. And then I'll just assign this guy an IP address. We'll do IP address 192.168.1.1 with a class C subnet mask. I'll go ahead and bring this interface up, so we'll do no shut. And the line protocol should come up here in just a little bit, but we won't wait on it. We'll go ahead and configure EIGRP while we're here in Dallas. So we'll do router EIGRP 100. Helps if I spell EIGRP correctly. And we'll do no auto. And then we'll do network 192.168.1.0, 255.255.255.0. And then network 10.10.0.0.255.255.0.0, just so we can reuse this config. You'll see that the line protocol did indeed come up here on serial 00, but there's no other routers out there for us to talk to. So let's go to Chicago and Birmingham and do pretty much the same thing. So config T, interface serial 0 slash 0, encapsulation frame relay. IP address 192.168.1.2 with a class C subnet mask. And we'll do no shut. Now you'll notice we're not defining any DELCs or any other information on the link other than frame relay. And that's because using inverse ARP and the LMI messages, we will dynamically learn what the proper DELCs are and where they go. Once we get the network up and functioning fully, we'll actually check that out before we do our verification test to make sure we can ping and trace route across the network. Again, while we're in here, let's go back out and set up EIGRP. I've already pasted that in there. And we'll exit out in Chicago, and we'll go over to Birmingham and do the exact same configuration. So config T interface serial 0 slash 0, encapsulation frame relay, IP address 192.168.1.3 with the class C subnet mask, no shut, exit out, paste in EIGRP. And now we wait just a moment for all of the line protocols to come up, and we'll pause the video for about 10 seconds and let this all settle out. That should be long enough. Dallas and Chicago, look, they have both formed a new neighbor adjacency. Dallas and Chicago has. And so has Birmingham. Hasn't it? Well, let's see. Show frame relay, and let's look at PVC to see what PVCs come up. Oh, there's the neighbor adjacency. So show frame relay PVC. So here are our PVCs in Birmingham. It shows we have DELC-202 and DELC-302, which is what was learned dynamically from the frame relay switch using inverse ARP. So it looks like we've learned everything there in Birmingham. Let's go to Chicago and do Show Frame Relay PVC here. So we have two active PVCs, DELC-201 and 301, which is what we expect in Chicago. And here in Dallas, we'll do Show Frame Relay PVC as well. 
and there is DELC 101 and DELC 102. So now let's do show IP route. And lo and behold, we actually learn about all of our EIGRP networks from our frame relay interface. So it just works. Isn't that amazing? So we can do ping 10.10.3.1, and we can successfully ping. If we do a trace to 10.10.3.1, we notice that we just go right to the serial interface on that router, the 10.10.3 router, which is Birmingham. We just go right to Birmingham serial interface, and we're there. We don't have to hop through Chicago or anything else like that. The real test will be to do show IP route over here on Chicago. We know about all the networks here, so if we do trace route to 10.10.3.1, Again, we go right to Birmingham's router because we know it on our serial interface just like we would any other network. So this is what a full mesh VPN looks like when everything's on the same subnet. And again, this most closely resembles a LAN because as far as your routers are concerned, all of the other EIGRP neighbors are on the same LAN. If we do show IP EIGRP neighbors, there's the two neighbors known on serial 00. So it would appear our first foray into Frame Relay Land was a success. We now have a functioning Frame Relay Network. Stay tuned where we set up a point-to-point -point Frame Relay Network. Things get a little interesting on that side.